Hi there, we're going to build uh, two chains of reasoning to show how we can improve our analysis marks at a level. And we're going to be drawing on the data published in the chart, which is from the International Monetary Fund. It shows the annual rate of inflation for the world economy, which is bumping along about 2 or 3%. Uh, advanced countries like Japan and Germany and the UK, much lower inflation, indeed some deflation in 2009, close to zero in some cases. And the grey line, which shows average inflation for uh, the main emerging market and developing countries, including countries like China, Vietnam, Bangladesh, um, and a lot of sub-Saharan African countries. Why is the rate of inflation consistently higher for emerging market and developing countries contrasted with advanced countries? There seems to be quite a significant uh, gap. Well, we can use demand and supply side reasons to help explain the difference. We're going to develop two chains of analysis. Keep in mind that there's uh, lots of different arguments here. We could approach it from the point of view of low inflation in advanced countries, uh, risk of deflation, for example. I just want to show you two chains of reasoning, which might help explain the difference in inflation rates. Now, a chain of reasoning is just a style on paper, which we, th which we think really works particularly well in A-level exams. Here we go. So one reason why inflation in emerging countries tends to be higher is that many of these countries are experiencing rapid, fast economic growth contrasted with slower growth in advanced countries. Keep in mind, of course, as you build a chain of reason, you go back to the question. Fast growth can lead to excess demand and a positive output gap, thereby causing demand pull inflationary pressure. So a nice little link there between demand, the output gap, and demand pull inflation. It also brings about cost push inflation, for example, because of rising global demand for raw materials. So we're trying to build a chain of analysis as to why inflation might be increasing. Second explanation, the second reason why inflation in developing countries is higher, again, we start off by going back to the question, is because many of these countries have volatile exchange rates and do not necessarily have a well-established central bank to operate monetary policy. Therefore, nice connected phrase, if a fast-growing country, for example, has a large current account deficit, this can lead to a large depreciation in their exchange rate. One effect of this is a big jump in the prices of essential imports, where the elasticity is less than one, of course, such as foodstuffs and energy. Keep the style on paper, keep it crisp, keep it clean, build chains of analysis, linking back to the question, so the examiners will get you good analysis marks. And of course, keep in mind there's always scope for a really good analysis diagram to nail the point.